In this IntelliJ tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change your Java version for your project. If you go in the upper right here, you can click on these three dots and then open up the project structure. Inside of here, you can see a setting for the SDK. This is where we can change the SDK version. If we click on it, we get a dropdown, and these are the available SDKs that we already have on our system. You could also download a JDK from the internet or add one from your local computer. For us, we'll just change it to Java 21. Now underneath this is the language level, and this is the syntax that you're going to be actually writing your application in. You could keep this at SDK default, which I highly suggest, or you can change it to any other version that's available to you. If we change this to Java 17, for instance, we have to write all of our code in Java 17. But what this allows us to do is it separates the SDK from the actual syntax that we're going to be using. This allows us to potentially build no matter what SDK that we have as long as it's 17 or greater. What this means is if you're on somebody else's system and they only have Java 17, you can still build the project and run it. I'm just gonna keep this at SDK default for now. If we go up to modules, you'll see that the language level is set to 17 instead of 21 that we've set it to already. This is because this is actually managed by Maven because I'm using a Maven build system. If I were to select this and then change it to 21, for example, you'll see at the bottom that there's a warning saying that Maven may change this in the future. If I were to apply this and hit OK, and then go to the palm and change this to say Java 22, for example, and then go up here and click on Load Maven Changes or hit Control Shift O, then go back into the project structure, you'll see that the language level has now changed to 22. So these module configurations are actually managed by Maven itself. So if you were to change something like this, it could be overwritten later. Let's change this back to 21 since that's the SDK that we already changed to. Now another thing to take into account here is that if we go into the settings, we can see that under the Java compiler that we also have a project bytecode version. The project bytecode version tells the Java compiler to generate class files at this particular version. And this is usually set to same as language level, but you may end up wanting to change this in the future. If so, here is where you can change it. You also have a target bytecode version for each module that you have inside of your POM. Now, again, if you change the POM and load the configurations, this will always change. So even if you want to set this to say 17, but then you load the Maven changes, it will always overwrite this particular property. And that is how you change Java versions in your project inside of IntelliJ.